Of course, here we are at Mercury up front and center. They're going to have the V10 400s right out the gate, right in the front, looking slick. They're not near as massive as you would think. I mean, it's almost the same size as Honda's new BF350, but these are super clean. I like the cowlings, the way they're tall like that. Rigging is a little bit different because you got a two and a half inch rigging tube right there, but super slick, these massive props on there. I mean, look at that thing, it is huge. But of course they got the V10s up front. Then you got the behemoth of a 600 right here. Most people have already seen that. Got the pod drive with the duo props. Again, massive props. These things come around here. Huge. And then you've got the, sorry. I wanted to apologize to this kid for cutting him off. I thought he was pulling away from the power head whenever I started to go look at it, but it looks like we were both going at the same time. So sorry for cutting you off. Got the cowling here. You're fine, you're fine. So you got, here's the inside, all the sides are off, the valves, pistons, everything's open. Hi. They got the top cut off of it, so you can see down the flywheel, filter and all that stuff. Here's your intake. Look, they got the V12 side right on the sticker on it looks really nice power steering pump engine coils here is the drivetrain for them so here's your two-speed transmission inside of it filter we got here we got just a 300 250 slick here's your different accent colors for cowlings you got red blue silver gray black and a matte ready for paint see you know, that's smart i wish more of them did that right there or just comes with a straight up matte, ready for paint. You can paint whatever color you want. That is super smart. I think that they should all do that, opposed to having a hundred different colors. But these are actually just like stickers. They just kind of stick on there. So over here, kind of walk around here, get around everybody. The booth here with the Fathom E power. It's basically just like a different power system for the boat see it on this side battery switching power distribution energy power conversion power source a lot of this has to do with you can get the 48 volt oh, different 48 volt um, alternators for your v10 or the 600 over here and you can charge your lithium powers inverters you don't really need a generator anymore i think that's what they're trying to get rid of you gotta hear the difference side right here so you can kind of put these headphones on and hear the difference here's a um Verado competitor they are i mean they say right here the mercury v10 350 Verado onboard is 42 percent quieter at wide open throttle and 28 percent quieter at cruising speed which is true they are probably the quietest outboard manufacturer there is here are the massive props. So right here we got, these are for the 600, the duo props, huge. They come basically matched. It's nice they got them on a little spinning thing here. That's pretty, pretty cool. What else we got around here? Just some of their smaller stuff. They do have so many different propellers that you can get. I mean like, they're the biggest propeller manufacturer ever. Here's the sound. I'm gonna try and get around here. Here is the 175 300. They've got this thing completely cut open. Here you've got specs, different horsepower specs on it. 475, you've got your weights. Here's the inside of it. I'll brighten this up for you so you can see. It's your pistons. 
Here's the valve train back here. You can see everything. And then over here, same thing on the inside. You can't really see much of the valves, but um, you can see most of everything else. Here's your timing chain and all that stuff down there. Starter, all that. So here are the, got some gear cases cut open right here. See the inside of the gear case. That's pretty sweet. You can kind of see all the different stuff like, you know, four bearing rays, where the pinion goes and all that stuff. Here's your intakes. This is actually talking about the paint. So here is your paint. So let me go through the steps. So one, Merc Fusion Merc Alloy. So here you got the different metal. And then it looks like, what is this? That's step four. So I need to come over here. And we got step two, which is the Merc Fusion paint system, iridium metal prep and sealing. So they basically paint everything. Got right here the different low copper aluminum alloy. Let me get this over here. I didn't get this for you. So there's the paint system. So we got powder paint, top coat, electro deposition primer, iridate metal prepping and sealing, and then the metal alloy. So here is the step three. That's kind of what it looks like. It's got some salt shield resistance and salt water long-term protection. And then here is the end of it, what it looks like when you're done. The top coat, shiny black, super slick. You can see how shiny that thing is. And we got two times, Mercury uses up to two times the stainless steel as our competitors to extend critical life components. Pretty sweet. So let's go back over here and kind of get back where we missed. Got the different analog gauges here. Different types of gauges. Here's some of the controls, mechanical stuff. Here's your hot foot for DTS hot foot. More of your side mount stuff. So over here is got another one. I mean, they got this thing, everything cut open. Here's the 253 in Verado Premium. Again, everything's cut open. Kind of get in here to see. Pistons, valves, they even got the computer cut open and brighten that up. See the crankshaft in there. They even press the button and make stuff move. Yeah, you can, so. Kind of see everything moving. Chain your valves, opening up the valves. Pretty sweet. And then over here, we've got what do we got here? Boating made easy. Joystick steering, you can kind of play around, just kind of see some of the stuff as you turn, shifting. Now, a lot of these have these now where you have to pull in the trigger. So it does have a button here where you can't, you know, shift it without anything with this button here. So you kind of have to press that. A lot of them have that now. They're kind of like mandatory. So that's what that is. Joystick. And there's just kind of saying play around with a joystick station there. More signs about the joystick. Come over here. And you've got a whole station where you can play with the joystick so you can kind of move stuff and see how they splay out so if you want to move left and right you can make the engine splay or come in and spin them so that's pretty sweet to let you play with that Got some 150s over here, talking about some command thrust, just the lower units. Another whole station talking about the enhanced fuel system. Exhaust manifold, how they've got that all set up. You can open a link if you want. Mm -hmm. 
gauges and displays over here. So we've got all their different gauges. The SE 1000s, vessel views. And then obviously vessel view link to put on any MFD that you want, unless it's, um, as long as it's Simran or Low Ranch, if you want a Garmin or anything other than Simran or Low Ranch, you gotta get a SmartCraft Gateway. A whole other section of um, their man overboard stuff. Yeah. More vessel view gauges and stuff. Let's see what else we got going on over here. Oh, here's the, here's the new controls for the Gen 2 rigging. So this is your new controls. Again, you've got the trigger right here at the bottom. These do not have the trigger, but any of the, any of the single stuff, they make you put that trigger on there. So that's kind of new, where they didn't used to have to have that trigger, but now you do. All the apparel that you want, get your apparel. Got another command thrust here. 115, it's 115, 150, very hard to get, everything's so shiny, 175, 300, the Pro XS, some of your stats here, Pro Kicker, better trolling, Here is the Avatar. So this is the new electric engine that you got right here, the Avatar. Looks like it's a carrying bag, so you can pick this thing up and carry it wherever you want. Let's go see if we can get into some action with one of those. So here is the intuitive controls and display for the Avatar. Again, clicky thing, run it. It's like you got an on and off switch here. It's just like, that's not really, it's like a, trigger so it's kind of weird here's your side mount start nope key switch interesting then you got this battery down here big old battery and then here is the actual engine in something so what your lower unit looks like the propeller it's kind of fat actually fatter than I would you would expect it to be um, like it just it looks tall I guess you would say and beefy but I guess that could probably just be the water but it does look beefier so it's probably got some beefy gears in there for the power of electric being just instant power 90% charge ready and the inside you can take your little battery pack thing out of it to make it lighter Try and make it over here. We're gonna get back to those. Actually, there's a lot of people around this one, so let's go check out this. So this is a big HVE concept Avatar elevating performance, high voltage electric outboard. So I don't know what this one comes out with, but I mean that's about the same size as your 115. Same lower unit. I mean it looks like a 115. I don't know what we got. There's no stickers or anything like that on it so i don't see any information on how much oh here we go so here's a sticky 75 to 110e not sure what that converts to as far as horsepower goes but kind of look at the 110 110e so here we got 75 110e avatar mid 2024 they're pushing the electric hard. This one's what I want to know about. What's going on with that thing? Yeah, they don't have any information on it yet. No information yet, so we will see as far as how much horsepower the thing's going to come out. I forget the conversion on getting like, you know, the 7.5, the 35, 20E. So... Pretty sure it's like a 9.9, .9, a 15, and a 25 is like the 110. So maybe the 110 is like a um, 
Maybe the 110 is like a 35 horsepower engine. So let's make our way over to the other side here. Here is a massive C Pro. C Pro is probably a 500. Yeah, that's a, that's a 500. So massive C Pro 500 built on basically the same platform. Here's a 350 V10 C Pro. These things are huge. Trying to get this to be a little bit brighter for you. It's huge. They have got engines everywhere here. This is all the C Pro models over here. So you got the 150, 200 V6 C Pro, just kind of like tuned down a little bit so where it doesn't get the same RPM. Try and make the engine last a little bit longer. They're more built for like workhorses. Some of them have bigger gear cases, stuff like that. They're just kind of built for more commercial use, I guess you would say. There's just a bunch of little engines. We got the uh, two and a half. We got the 1520. Got nine, eight and a half, another two and a half. So then here we've got the 1550, 1350. Trying to tone this down a little bit. Dual calibration, 1550 and 1350. Most of the time, what they do here is you just have separate keys. Whenever you put the key in, it tells it if it's a 1350 or 1550 usually. Um, I don't know too much about these things, but look at this thing. It's just massive. Look at the gear case on this thing. That prop is insane. Dual pinion, one for each gear. Super beefed up. ridiculous yeah I'm not a hundred percent sure what's it say here full throttle 1550 coverage Let's see if it says anything about this here fuel current mercury digital throttle dual shift you know calibration of maximum boat speed without a prop change full throttle rpm increases okay so yeah you can just change it I want to say that you use to have to have a key for that so like if you put in a certain key one 1550 on 112 AKI fuel or an alternate calibration offering 1350 on 91 octane fuel calibration design and startup via the change of an electronic key fob. Yeah, so as you just change that key and that's what changed it from the 1350 to the 1550. And that is going to be the same thing as this one over here. We'll talk about that one in over here. That's got an M8 gear case. It's not an M6, so that's your M8. And then it looks like this one over here also has the M8 gear case. But we'll talk about that one in a second because look at this prop. This insane chopper prop. So this is going to be 1650. Nope, maybe not. It's 1100. So I don't really know my colors as far as these Merc racing engines go. It's a whole different animal. I didn't see. I thought that one, I thought they had a 1650, but maybe I guess it's just a 1550. So not 100%. 1100. 300R over here. Super nice. There's the 60R. 300R. Calculate your prop slip. Here is the Racing 400. Specifications on this thing. So this is something that's pretty sweet if you guys have never seen this. The um, calculate your prop slip. So get that app for your prop slip calculator. 
and it'll help you calculate your prop slip, which is super nice to kind of tell if you got the right prop or not, or if you got too much slip. And then profile, here's that. We've got another 300R racing, another 400R racing, and then over here, another one that's just been opened up. Can see inside here. Charge cooler, cool the air, pistons, valves, all that stuff. Supercharger. These things are packed in there. And then that is going to be the Mercury boost. So this thing is huge. You've got this hole in this corner here being your racing stuff. And it's going to go all the way down through the rest of the little booth area there.